Hey guys, my name is Arik and welcome to my channel. So we currently have this unrest, not only in the United States, but all over the world um, with the Black Lives Matter movement. I know many of us are sad and confused and we're trying to figure out how to contribute and be a positive voice for change. In my tiny way, I am going to feature some beautiful black Barbies that I decided to use for a um, Black Lives Matter campaign uh, photo session for my Instagram. We need more black Barbies, or we need to buy more black Barbies. Um, my husband and I have said that when we have a child, we do want them to have a diversity in their toys, especially when it comes to Barbies. Um, I do notice that when we go to um, you know, the, the store, the toy store, the toy, the toy section, a lot of the um, colored Barbies are still there and they are gorgeous. I am going to unbox two new ones that I got and I'm going to do a giveaway for one of them. So stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can win. As we go through these beautiful Barbies, I encourage you to try and keep an open mind, be loving and respectful, and I encourage you to leave comments that are constructive. And if you have a critique, be gentle and kind. There's always a way to be critical while being gentle and kind. If you do leave a comment that is disrespectful, rude, racist, or prejudiced, I will delete your comment, block you from my channel, and definitely report you for harassment. I'm not even sorry about that. This is my channel, and you will not come here to make a fool of yourself and others. With that said, I am going to start my review on these beautiful fashionistas, and this is fashionista number 105, I believe. I don't have the boxes for these four simply because I didn't think of, about making a video uh, on them until now <laughs> or until recently, um, but um, I know that she's, she is 105 and she has this beautiful curly, big curly hair. Um, she's wearing some flat white tennies and she's wearing a pink and orange dress that's just above the knee. She does have two hoop gold earrings. I think they're 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 gold um, plated plastic um, earrings. She has a little t hair tie in, in her hair just to kind of hold it back. She, her makeup is gorgeous, and she's wearing um, like a mauve color lipstick um she has obviously her eyelashes are painted on um her legs don't bend um kind of like with all of our fashionistas her arms go they'll move back and forth and up but also they don't bend at at either the elbow or um at the wrist and we are naming her <laughs> i want to say jennifer because I want to name her after Jennifer Hudson. No, I don't know. Um, I do want to name all of them since they don't have names. I don't think they do. Um, but if you think you have a perfect name for her, let me know and we can try to figure that out. Our next one is this beautiful dark skinned Barbie that has a rainbow dress. Um, and she also has some hoop earrings, except these are silver. Um, I love the color on her her lips. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. And then we can see her her little shoes um, that are also tennies. Um, I think Miss Jennifer over here had um, a little high top tennies. She has the low the the low tops. Um, also, her knees don't bend. Her arms move side to side back but they don't they don't bend either um her dress cut is purple in the back and it does have the signature um barbie uh, velcro in the back so that um, that makes it obviously easy for for play um 
for your kids to play. She is, I feel, she's one of my favorites and I feel she is gorgeous. I love her skin color. Um, I don't have a name for her yet either. So if you have a name for them, please let me know. Our next one is definitely, if not my favorite, um, she's my top two. Uh, as you can tell, she has vertigo. And I don't think they have made one in light skinned yet. I know some of the reviews for it um, or complaints about it have been that she, it, it was only a, a colored Barbie. She does come with a little fanny pack or a little bag that hinges here in the back and you can pretty much adjust it to the the size of your Barbie um, and it has three notches and I believe hers was in the second one she has a cute little summer dress with some yellow straps it does have some slits in the side and she also has some tennis shoes on and her hair is uh, curly big and she has it up in a little bun her makeup is more of a natural look I don't know if you can kind of see that um, she's 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 beautiful and she's actually the first one of the four that I got our next one is this gorgeous short haired honey colored doll here we go she comes with uh, maybe like a jean color top and has I'm not too crazy about the necklace um, but that it is obviously a signature um, Barbie accessory her shorts are like pleather white pleather and she does come with some pink heels I actually wish that with this outfit she would be wearing um, some tennis shoes some white tennis shoes I feel like it kind of goes without the 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 necklace um, but as it is she is beautiful her makeup is all natural see right there um, she has some uh, light pink lipstick um, with some lash her lashes painted on her blouse it's velcro it is velcro in the back her shorts are elastic so the the, the shorts do come off rather rather easily her knees don't bend her elbow um, her elbows don't bend so I bought this fashionista doll she has a red skirt with um, a girl power shirt and she's actually fashionista number 23 she does have some braids and some accessories we're going to open her now so just like all the other ones she's strapped up with some little plastics or actually these are rubber bands um i think the only one where the only place that she has little plastics on are where her shoes and i'm going to pull that now i am going to tear out all the all the rubber bands from her she has a couple of rubber bands on her hair and that was actually pretty easy to take off and she does have two little plastics in, in her head i think the majority of them do so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull on them together go one two normally if i can't pull on them i i because i'm always scared um i kind of just cut them off but if you pull on them now like that there we go okay didn't mess with her head <laughs> her braids are down to her booty or down to her waist she's wearing a red leather or I want to say a little pleather skirt that has uh, velcro in the back and she's wearing a girl power um, sleeveless shirt it's kind of like a rock star kind of shirt she's wearing uh, I mean it has a little guitar little designs on there she's wearing some purple booties 
Oh, can you see that? And again, just like the rest of the Fashionista dolls, her knees don't bend. These are not uh, made to move Barbies. Um, so I know a lot of people take their heads and put them on made to move bodies. A lot of, some of you don't mind it. I prefer it, I, I prefer them to be uh, made to move since I would rather use them for photo shoots and I don't, I don't play with them. Um, I, I don't have them set for collections or set for, for any photo shoots that I want to put on my Instagram. So it's easier for me to have uh, made to move bodies uh, because I can position their 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 hands and their feet and their legs um, in different in different places rather than just kind of standing there. Um, she doesn't have um, earrings, but she does have a cute little bangle. It's like a gold little bangle um, that kind of completes the look. And um, I don't have a name for her either. Uh, so if you want to help me with that uh comment down below just <laughs> so you can help me and kind of name her for me so we're gonna put her right in the middle of these girls so she doesn't fall let me see there she's gonna share a stand there we go Last but not least is fashionista number 20, 125 actually. Um, she is a darker uh, skinned kind of like Miss Rainbow here. Um, not, I guess maybe not as dark. She has lavender or purple hair and is a little, um, is a little curvy uh, girl who's wearing a romper. Um, surprisingly, she wasn't so popular uh, with when I was reading the reviews on on her. I do believe some people were kind of disappointed with um, her lipstick kind of not matching um, as well and her hair. I do kind of agree um, with the lipstick. I think I would probably repaint it into um, a different color. I would probably add some hair um different hair to her just to kind of blend it in with the purple and lavender i'm gonna go ahead and, and open her now again she also has these little um hair ties on her hair that i'm gonna pull out so here she is in i guess in the flesh um she's wearing some brown slip slipping heels uh, or kind of little booties. Um, they do come wrapped in a little rubber band so that they won't come off. I'm not gonna take that off. Um, but if you are buying the, these for your kids, I do recommend you take these off since they are a hazard for them. Um, her legs don't bend or her knees don't bend. Just like the other ones, her hands move up and down, back and forth, um, but they don't bend at the elbow either. She's wearing a Mm, shine, black shiny material romper with some green, uh, actually some uh, some pink roses and green le green leaves. She does come with some silver glasses that are actually latched on to their to her with um, those little plastics that I'm also not gonna take off. Her hair is purple I, I at first thought it would it was maybe like a little lavender but it's not it is purple um, and has some curls on there I might um, not re-root her but I will I might add some maybe some color on there some some um, brown just kind of kind of give it some some highlights um, if you have uh, a name for her that would be great speaking of I got two of her um reason being she there there were so many of her as opposed to everybody else at the store so i'm assuming um she wasn't being sold as much and i want to do a giveaway on my second one obviously I'm, i wasn't going to keep it um so just kind of comment below um a, Give us a positive comment maybe help me name some of them uh and 
I will choose a winner within the next few videos and I will contact you so that we can send this out to you. And that is it for my video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. I will be uploading a video every um, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday uh, for now. And I really hope you guys have a great day. Stay kind to one another, especially with everything that's going on around the world uh, right now. We want to stay together um, and be a positive influence, a positive voice for everybody out there, especially for our kids. Please follow me on Instagram. I posted the Black Lives Matter photo shoots um, with four of them and I will keep posting photo sessions um, with a lot of the dolls that I have. Uh, I have a lot that I haven't even opened up yet. So stay tuned for that. And you guys have a great day. Bye.